All right. So now it's time to practice graphing quadratics by starting with the Joe average parabola, y equals x squared, and then applying transformations to it based on the numbers in its equation. First, recall the general formula for a quadratic that we've been looking at. That's a times x minus h squared plus k. a is the leading coefficient. It will stretch or compress the parabola by a factor of a. Additionally, if a is positive, the parabola opens upwards, and if it's negative, the parabola will open downwards. H describes a horizontal translation. The parabola will be moved left or right h units. Left if we see plus h in the equation, and right if we see minus h. K describes a vertical translation. The parabola will be moved up k units if we see positive k, or down k units if we see negative k. Let's go through an example. y equals 1 half x minus 1 squared plus 3. This parabola has been moved to the right 1, because we see x minus 1 in the brackets. It has been moved up 3, because of the positive 3k value at the end there. So our new vertex is 1, 3. Let's put a point there. In the Joe average parabola, the rest of the points would look like this. But we have a vertical compression, so every change of y is going to be half of what it normally would be. Instead of going over 1, up 1 to our next point, we'll go over 1 and then up 1 half. Instead of going over 2, up 4, we'll go over 2 and then up 4 times 1 half which equals 2, and so on and so forth, we can fill in the rest of the points. Let's do one more example. y equals negative 4 times x plus 2 squared plus 5. If you want to try this one on your own, pause the video now. So this parabola has been moved up 5, and then 2 units to the left. We know it's the left because we see x plus 2 in the brackets. Our new vertex is negative 2, 5. All right. Now, it's important to note that a is negative 4. Negative means that our parabola is opening downwards. It's also scaled by a factor of 4. So instead of going over 1, down 1, like we would for Joe Average, we go over 1 and then down 1 times 4 equals 4, and the same on the other side. Then we go over 2, down 4 times 4 equals 16, and the same on the other side, giving us a parabola that looks like this.